All right, hello again, YouTube. This is Charles, and uh, today I wanted to show you. I have the M1905 Swedish military backpack, also known as the uh, Rensel. Uh, I don't speak Swedish, so if I mispronounce that, forgive me. If we take a look at these front straps here, you can see that these go all the way down back to the pack. So this is what supports it and mounts it to your back. What these were made for is for the, the Mauser leather ammunition belt, which I don't have, so I can't show you. But that's what these straps and these hooks were made to go into. So this ammunition belt has little metal D-rings which these go into. Let's take a look at the back of the pack here. So if you see here, it has three straps on the side and the middle for the uh, blanket roll. Now I have uh, a wooby attached there. You can also take a look. I've got the mess kit and an entrenching tool. So it has straps built onto the back of this to mount all three of these items. Underneath here it also has two areas where you can attach equipment straps. So if I wanted to put something else underneath, let's say a sleeping pad or something like that, I can strap it along the bottom. Now one of the cool things is, I know this is a 104 year old backpack at the time of this video, but it's got a quick release. So that is a 1913 version of a quick release so you can doff the pack and get this thing off of you. So take a quick look here. So these markings on here show when it was made. Um, I also believe, but I'm not 100% certain that this was the uh, 16th Infantry Regiment. The Holland's uh, Regiment of Sweden. Once again, I'm not from Sweden. I don't speak Swedish. But that is what I believe based on these margins here and seeing stuff online. So, I know this is not period correct because this is the M58 KLAS shovel and this is an M44 mess kit. Now, they do have the old style Swedish mess kits uh, being sold online, which you can get. That's fine. I'm just showing you as an example. It's not that important to me. But uh, I have not seen this little backpack online anywhere. And that's the main reason I want to put this video out to give you some information. So, let's take a look underneath this cover. So if you see right here, they do have a small pocket which you could potentially put a change of clothes, uh, maybe some extra socks, underwear, uh, depending on the size or bulk of your uniform, you could even possibly put a uniform in there. Um, this pack is pretty small, I mean we're looking at about 13-14 inches maximum width and about the same height on this piece right here. Um, when you take a look, we've got the flaps right here. We've got two flaps right here. So the way you put this together, basically run this through, run the bottom one through, and tie these together. And that's what holds your equipment inside of the pouch. So it's not the most practical you know, when we're looking, comparing it to today's packs, but it's still pretty cool. Now this pack for me, I mean, I use it as a day pack. It's also kind of a fashion statement uh, for myself. I mean, just because the pack weighs four pounds on its own without anything in it. So that's pretty heavy. But for a day pack, I'm not too worried about weight. So it's not like I'm carrying this miles and miles and miles, right? Um, some people would even call this kind of like a steampunk type of backpack. Um, 
you can take a look at all this nice leather. So we got leather straps, got some very heavy canvas right here. And of course we have the cotton canvas inside, which helps carry your personal items in there. Now this pack, backpack, as I understand it, was made kind of uh, based on other European backpacks at the time. So the Swedish Army kind of wanted to modernize their packs and go with the current times. So this is a little bit similar to the uh, German Tornister or the French uh, knapsack. Um, you see here we got a full leather back, got a lot of leather on the bottom. Here are these two attachment points I spoke of where you can attach something else. Full leather straps. And then, of course, this nice kind of brownish, greenish canvas. So I don't know if this was a different color when it was first made. This is the current color it is now. It's kind of a brown with a little bit of green tint to it. Um, but that's all I really have. I mean, if you have any questions on this backpack or any of the items on there, feel free to leave a, a message or a question on there. And have a good day.